office the first, the day that it went down. Well, it was really bleak. They showed us the old vine room and it was just like empty and dark. <laughs> and they're like, they used to have parties here. <laughs> <laughs> the last vine employees like crying, telling you the stories. <laughs> so the viners, they're alive and well. They found a new home. And it's Is it YouTube. YouTube's? It's yeah. YouTube and Instagram, but it's mostly YouTube. Some of the biggest Viners were Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and a lot of the <laughs> Viners that lived on Vine Street, as we talked about before. And now they are the biggest YouTubers. We came in and grabbed YouTube by the balls. I know for a fact it wasn't ready to the pulse at all. Early 20s are more talented than y'all. Shockingly fast growth. It's, it's more than just... It's basically like a religion to kids now, like watching these vlogs. Really though? Oh my god, yes. I just want to be a good example. I just want to be the light in the darkness for the future of America. To me guys, this merch is a movement. It's like style, fashion, getting better every day, bro. Like that's what it really means. I truly believe that in today's day and age, anyone, listen to me, can become anything they want, especially with the development of mobile phones. I will go above and beyond. Excel, excel, win, best, excel, win, win, win. Four years ago, I was sitting in class. My teacher's telling me I wouldn't amount to anything. Don't let anyone tell you you can't chase your dreams, guys, seriously. Everyone should believe that they can win and do whatever they want in their life. And if you don't believe that, you should not be a part of the low gang because I issue a challenge to you when you grow up. If you want to buy a multi-million dollar house, do it! Just copy your Maverick merch because that's the essence of today's vlog. LoganPaul.com slash shop. It is not a, a movement. It's a revolution of people who are going to dent the universe. If you're at home right now, wherever you live, wherever you may be, you can do, you can become whatever you want in life and accomplish the craziest goals and the craziest dreams. Change the game. Be a god, baby. It's going to be hard work, but you guys can do it. As long as we stick together, we will and always will be the strongest family on YouTube. I know it's cheesy. <laughs> I, know, Be a so, hey, I just want to preach though in my vlogs like as a family guys I know then maybe not the time to get cheesy, but together we're, we're killers bro. Low gang for life. Be a maverick, baby. I, yo ah! Who's Logan Paul and why do we care? Well Logan Paul like I said Logan Paul was got to start on vine. He's from Cleveland, Ohio He went to Ohio University, right? Buck College, I'm moving to Vine Street in LA, and I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer on the planet. I wanna be the biggest entertainer in the universe. And I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer on the planet. And there's so many like profiles of him saying like, I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer, I'm huge. And people are like, I don't know, I guess maybe. He has been like- what? Really successful. Yeah, really successful I've on YouTube. I just watched a movie the other day and he just like was in it. Actually, it was fucking Baywatch. Wow, nice nipple froze, bro. Damn. <laughs> Does anyone have a weed whacker? A ying, 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 ying. Doesn't he have his own YouTube series right now? Yeah, sort of. Like wow. Logan Paul versus kind of just like, yeah, it's kind of like Jackass E. And that's what like really? Logan Paul Logan Paul and Jake Paul and all these viners that are now vloggers are now like the evolution of like the MTV character, which was like Jackass and uh, yeah. that sort of thing, which like with Donald Donald Rushkoff would call the MOOC. Who's Donald Rushkoff? Donald Rushkoff. He he made a uh, he's written a lot of books about the internet, and he also made a documentary called The Merchants of Fool. God! <laughs> His critics call him the MOOC. That's right, M O O K MOOC. And you can find him almost any hour of the day or night somewhere on MTV. He's not real. He's a character. Crude, loud, obnoxious, and in your face. There's a sewage plant in my anus, and it stinks. And he's the daredevils on Jackass who indulge in dignity-defying feats like poo diving. I'm Ryan Dunn, and this is poo diving. Oh, bro. He's those frat boys and their whipped cream bikini girlfriends on MTV's constantly recurring spring break specials. Eat those beans. The MOOC is perhaps Viacom's most bankable creation. Once programmers discovered his knack with teenage boys, 
they replicated him across the length and breadth of their empire. I like that. That sounds really racist. Like a yeah, it sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these guys are just like basically they're not only mooks, they're not like they always like playing pranks, always just like acting on impulse and just being crazy and like living life being totally themselves. But like there so it's like mook, it's classic mook like we we're used to from from the late 90s and early 2000s on MTV. I'm going to be myself no matter what and I'm going to be myself as loud as possible. Oh. It's just like tension grabbing. If you remember like the first episodes of Real World, if you remember Puck. Yes. My name is Puck Rainey. I'm a bike messenger in San Francisco. That is something I expect out of my five-year-old nephew. And I'm like, hey, dude, I'm a bike messenger. Get used to it. <laughs> mm, I don't use utensils ever. Your fingers make these cool shapes, you know, you can kind of just, whoa. <laughs> so disgusting. What we need from you is to be less abrasive. It's not going to happen. Your friendship is so one-sided. It's just about you. Two. And how I relate to you. Bad. And how everybody relates to you. And how everybody likes your stories. So it's not really friendship. Too bad. Deal with it or not. But I'm not going to change. No, I'm here to be me. And I'm not going to change, man. I like me. He was no. the, one of the original. Yeah, he's he's the original mook. Uh, he's Wait, one of the original mooks, and it's it's basically like you know the camera's on you, and so you're like heightening <laughs> your attitude. Jersey Shore, Jersey mooks. Shore mooks. Yeah, oh man, they're all mooks. Sure. Fuck. So, but the the new, but the Jersey Shore was like well, a good use more like um, between like references. Yeah, if you remember the first season of Real World. Now, like they they become mogul mooks, which is like. You are yourself yeah. at all costs. You're loud as hell, but you can also do business. I can sign papers and I can make money. Left the business meeting. It went flipping well, guys. You already know your boy is out here grinding, you know? Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about raising money from investors. I always believed in myself. I was not afraid to be different, be unique, be a maverick. I worked really hard and I had big goals. I hope when you watch this and when you watch my vlogs in general, you guys get inspired and motivated and work hard so that one day you can buy a house for your wife, your friend. Uh, like how rich is he? Is he Kardashian rich? Right now. He's I not like Kardashian rich yet. Uh, his net worth in 2017 is thought to be about six million dollars. This is around two million more than his younger brother Jake is. But he's worth. definitely like as rich as like a working actor. Like he no, has. I would say more rich, a lot maybe more, more, more than, than like a regular I mean, they both, sitcom. Logan Paul and Jake Paul both have mansions, whether or not they're listing or paying for them. They have mansions. They have four hundred thousand dollar cars. They have. Basically, basically anything they want, they get it. Yeah. Like there's very there's no limits to what they can buy. There's little that right they couldn't now. buy. This is how big this is because really, like I think on my end, I never see him. Like in my world, I don't really Logan Paul doesn't come into my stratosphere. But you're saying this is like a, a microcosm of a thing. It's a micro, it's a macrocosm if you're below the age 20. I mean, the, uh, above what? a certain age, nobody knows him. It's, it is insane, kind of. Like, is he on MTV, right? Like, is he on, like... The thing. Okay. They brought TRL He's... back, and fucking every YouTuber is, like, on TRL. Now, your name is King Batch. Okay. TRL, really? Right. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just want to make I didn't, that's, I didn't know it was back. Yeah, back. Uh, yeah, it was, it's back, like, as of, like what, that. like, a month ago? Who's hosting that show anyway? Carson Weird. Daly. I it's hope still, so. I hope Carson so. Daly. I hope so. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> you remember Pit My Ride, guys? Yeah. Remember West Coast Customs? The uh -huh. Jake Paul pop-up had an emergency. Like, it got shut down at the first location. They went to West Coast Customs. And it was like fucking TRL all over again. There was a pit of kids screaming. Jake Paul and all of his crew, Team 10, were on the roof shooting t-shirts into the crowd. Oh, like, holy wow. shit. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. This is the exact, it's the evolution of like the MTV brand, but into well, like, the vlog world. Now, instead of one, there being one show you watch, you follow characters and you can watch like the same day, but from multiple different perspectives. Like you might be a fan of Jake, but you might be also a friend of, or a fan of his girlfriend, uh, Erica Costello. So you might watch her vlogs every day, but maybe Jake's only sometimes. Or, but every, mm. every member of every one of these vlog houses, which there are a couple of them, uh, there's Faze, Faze Banks has a house that's another really big one, the Clout House. What it is is wow. like instead of there being a show, it's like a group of <laughs> friends and you like consume their content from like every angle. 
And you just sort of pick who you want the star to be. A lot of people's favorite person is usually like Jake Paul or Logan Paul. But like the I, the fun thing is that you can like really dig in and like know all these people. Know all. What's the house called? Team Ten. This is Team Ten, bitch. Who the hell up in you? Okay, do they have a Team Ten YouTube channel? Yeah, but it's sort of like overflow for all their individual accounts. It's a sort of an afterthought. What's our team name going to be? We're shooting t-shirts in our mob. Oh yeah, wait, we already have a t-shirt, don't we? Team zero hundred or something. <laughs> yeah, no, not or something. You gotta say it with confidence, you know. Well, we're sort of workshopping that. Our, <laughs> our logo, so our logo, it's just a three zero. It's like like one hundred, but like well, fucking zero. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you pitched it real well. I'm on board with that yeah, logo sure. now. I know, I like it, yeah. <laughs> we, we're we're going to start with a beanie with a embroidered logo. That's, that's pretty that's good. A piece of merch. You look, like a, you look like a Disney villain, Anna. Yeah. Don't talk uh, about it. Very <laughs> going you got to get into Jake Paul a little bit because he's very controversial. Uh, okay. Much more controversial than Logan, I'd say. I, okay, guys. Oh, I, yeah, that's right. Jake Paul's his little brother. Yeah, right? so Jake Paul's his little brother who is on the Disney Channel playing a character <laughs> who is a guy on a vlog who does crazy shit. <laughs> Dude, it's Dirk from Jeremy Bro. He does anything his fans jam to do. Remember, Jeremy Bro isn't about pointless stunts. It's about experiencing all the majestic wonders that life has to offer. Now watch me ride a shopping cart into a brick wall. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's way bad, right? He's like the he's like the bad guy of he's the two. Bad boy. He's but literally like nineteen, right? Is he nineteen? But it's just bonkers that like he was like living this reality of being a guy who has a vlog who does crazy shit in real life, and then like playing it as a character too for a long on time Disney Channel. on a show called Bizarre Vark. What the hell is that? It was his Disney Channel. It's show. like iCarly ripoff. But but in the YouTube age, because iCarly was like a little bit before vloggers and influencers. Yeah, so like Bizarre Vark is more centered around influencers. Hey guys, I'm Frankie, I'm Paige, and we have a favor to ask. See the subscriber count here? We really need to get that number up to 10,000, because if we do, we'll get invited to the Vugal Studio. It's just crazy that I mean, uh, Disney... Watch. Yeah. I only watched four episodes. I gotta actually watch more. I'm. Ex I really do want to catch up on. Is Bizarre it good? Bizarre, Bizarre got canceled, no. didn't it? I <laughs> got canceled. Well, he got kicked off the he Disney channel. He got kicked off Disney channel because there was this report. Because like he was just like causing all sorts of trouble in his neighborhood in Los Angeles. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, no, no neighbors were calling and stuff. Like, like what a bad boy. Like, was like uh, TRL. Like uh, kids would show up there all day long and just hang out, and wait for her to see him. It, it was just like a hang zone for kids because it, their their address leaked, or at least it, they their address leaked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But I think they gave it out, and they they're sort of surprised by how many kids show up all the time. But so this reporter came to their house from ABC and like interviewed Jake because all the neighbors were were complaining because like they were burning things in their pool and the flames were higher than the house and just always making <laughs> ruckus. Sounds uh, pretty fun. Jake, I wouldn't do that. Look at, I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? What do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? And uh, they're really no, upset. No, no I, I honestly. Can't beat them, join them. No, I'm honestly, yeah, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we could do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, Dab. I have one question for you. Yeah. What are those? <laughs> I guess he didn't like my shoes, but I don't think they're so bad. Just like picture yourself at like 20 years old. You like, or that's like you just like maybe yeah, second, third year in college. Yeah. Like, you fucking oh, drink man. hard as hell. Like you party hard as fuck. If you have that much money, like. I would have done crazy shit. And you just live with. So he lit the pool on fire. The I mean, pool turned into a swamp, and they've lit it on fire. They lit it on fire. Yeah. The pool turned That's into like. That's really like, gnarly. I mean, that sounds fucking sweet. I, mean, I would want to like, see that. I like, like Jake Paul now. So do I. I like, I like Jake Paul a lot. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are the Jake Paulers, right? <laughs> I got. I got some oh, merch. Yeah. This is. is is that Jake Palmer? This is some wow. Jake Palmer. That's a nice shirt, though. I know. I didn't hear it. <laughs> is that really his fan's name? What is it called? They're called Paulers? Jake, Jake Paulers. Paulers. 
What's up, Jake Paulers? Listen, guys, I want to be able to. Yeah. Hey, what a way! I was fucking horrible. I know. He didn't think about it. He didn't really. He didn't have to. He think was probably about drunk. It. He was probably drunk or something. <laughs> really good shirt. Like, dude, but like, this is the fucking key to their fucking all their money, dude. Because they fucking they rep their merch so hard. And all like, yeah, every day they're wearing their merch. Like they're living this like life that every day. this this aspirational life of just like craziness and adventures and like doing whatever the fuck you feel it's like, really cool you like it every yeah. single day and What's the shirt say? your uniform is their merch every day bro that's it's every that's day his, bro that's his fucking uh, and, oh and in the day. back it says it's lit it says every day bro it's lit yeah, the, oh yeah my that's, God. that's that's fucking like dope. his catch line basically it's every day bro with yeah, it has, uh, channel, he has a song out called it's every day you're falling into the trap ryan you're supporting them I know. Well, I know. you're, you're, you're I giving them hate. a free advertisement for Jake Paul from you. I kind of hate that. <laughs> there's I the kinda... uh, there's the vlog camera. <laughs> we yeah. Just have Tim coming down in the back. Tim just creeping. <laughs> <laughs> so, Looks so like yeah. Didn't have pants on. So like, do you know you know you know how like athletes would wear like Nikes or like they would do whatever the athlete is wearing. Kids would want to wear it because they want to be like the athlete. They make their own clothes and then they wear it and look like really aspirational and then kids buy it because like for the same reason like they would have bought something that an athlete would have worn. Today I want to talk to you guys about selling a product and if you're selling a product you need to do this. Now what that is, you're like what is the this that I need to do? You need to create content around your product. Mainly video. When we sell our merch we create content around it. That's what's selling it. We don't just have it on a website somewhere. It's in our videos. We're making jokes about it. We're talking about it. We're taking pictures in it. This is the type of content you guys need to be doing uh, regardless of like what your product is. If you're wearing that shirt and you're lighting a pool on fire, yeah, I'm buying that shirt. Yeah, exactly. This kid is like in his own like world, which is becoming like fucking huge. He's fucking Justin Bieber. Like, he, kind of, like. Mm. Kind of, well, yeah, at maybe like, like, like a little Bieber, like, like maybe a little bit lower of a level, a first. little bit. But like, so okay, when so the crowds, it's like fucking like kids are just like, ah, it's the Beatles. How, yeah. how old are these children? It's Beatlemania. How old are they? I say it. Yeah. Oh, his fans is like ten or yeah. twelve, probably. Yeah, pretty young. Yeah, it's 10, like a 12. bunch of little boys who like want to just like, oh. Dude. Is it more? Is it more boys or girls that like Jake Paul? Like boys. It's boys, but it is really? like Jake Paul. Yeah. yeah. Is it because of the jackass vibe? It's yes. and it's because of the yeah, and it's like Disney Channel, and he's like I don't know, he has muscles. Like they're all sexy kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, obviously the dudes on them. They're, and they're like they they speak like they're so wise, and they just tell like people yeah. what to do. It's to motivational get, like, speaking. Like it's like, like it's really successful. Yeah, yeah every single it. yeah. Look, guys, I'm just a, I'm just a kid from Ohio. All I did was work hard. That one hits me hard every time when he says wow. it. Wow. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wait, how, how do you? <laughs> LeBron's going to sue his that's ass. LeBron's, that's LeBron's thing. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah. Just a kid from that's Africa. everybody's thing. That's everybody's thing. So I LeBron's don't know if I hate LeBron. it because I don't like, like I don't, I hate them. Or if I just am like, damn it, I wish. Ricky, why are, are you, you hate dog? Ricky, why are you are hate? You jelly? Are you jelly? I'm a hater. <laughs> That's I'm a fine. Jake Paul hater. What does he say? Haters, something about haters. Dab on the haters. Dab on the haters. Dab on the haters. So dab on the. Oh my god. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Let's. Dab on the haters. Let's all. Did he make that up? Yeah. Wait, did they make that up? Did yes. they make that? Up? I don't know if they made it. Up. I don't. They make a so. dabbing. They didn't make it up. They didn't make up dabbing, but they do. The did they? On the haters. Did they? Did they reappropriate that? They reappropriated a lot of stuff. That's another problem. <laughs> So, we went to the Jake Paul pop-up, which was supposed to be Friday to Saturday, 1 to 9, every day at this one place in L.A. Right now, guys, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, December 1st through the 3rd, guys, at 2332 East 8th Street in Los Angeles, California, guys. I want to see you there. There's going to be all of this exclusive merch. Check it out. And the first day we went... There were not that many kids there. Even we were there. It was supposed to open at one. We got there at about noonish. Not that many kids there. Kind of an unimpressive line. A lot of moms and families. It's, it's um here for three days. 
Jake Paul said there's exclusive merchandise here. You can get a shirt with the blood shark on it. Expecting a little bit more people. Uh, we assume that everyone else is in school right now, so. Did you guys get out of school early today to come to this? No, we didn't go to school. Oh, here, Whoa. It's every day, bro. <laughs> Dab on those haters. It's every day, bro. That's what it is. Dab on those haters. I don't really want to hate on Jake Paul because he's lit. You're the number one fan? Yeah. <laughs> I am the true fan. Do you look at him as a role model at all? Kind of. What's something you you take from him and think is like good advice? That he makes a lot of money off of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be in their life so bad because they... they Flex a lot. They do. They have money. They have girls and other things. You guys ready to get some merch today or what? Yeah! I came for the merch. What are you thinking about getting? Socks and maybe a jacket. The two hoodies. I want the Erica Costello Cust pastel one. I want it to say every day, bro. Every Christmas day, bro? On a Sunday night, I opened up and I saw this. This is my first ever piece of merch. I feel like... I now am a supporter of their content. Supporter in what ways? Um, physically and emotionally, <laughs> as everybody says it. Before, when I wore the merch to my school, they were like, oh, she has Jake Paul merch, and some people give me dirty looks, but I, like, I don't care. Why is Jake Paul a little country? <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> We've heard that. You can only like one of them for some reason. What do you think that's about? Um. I don't know. I feel like you should be able to like both of them, but people make it a competition between them. But you're a dick. You ain't thankful for your fans. It's a lot of these vlogs are like staged in the same way that reality shows have always been staged. Like, is this really the drama that's happening, or do they are they trying to stir up drama for views? I love Jake Paul more than Logan. I don't like Logan because I think Jake Paul's better. What was that? Jake Paul's cooler than Logan Paul. You think so? Yeah. Like Why? Out. He got a lot of likes more than Logan Paul. Are you guys also in the Low Gang or not yeah, so much? I'm in the Low Gang. <laughs> From what I see on their videos, they're kind of not liking each other much. Yeah. Do you think that's real or do you think that that's drama for like I, I views? I think it's drama for views, yeah. Faking wise, mm -hmm. would it be like a three? Three out of ten. What I have to say about Jake Paul is entertaining, cocky, and arrogant. But fun. It's all smoke and mirrors, I feel like but I like it. I don't really care if they're being fake or not. It's just fun to watch the vlogs. And so mm. not only is it like little scenarios are, in, are like totally like fabricated, but like Jake Paul has a girlfriend named Erica Costell, who's also an influencer. And they have a relationship that is referred to by the fans as Jerica, the combination of Jake and Erica. Of course. You can fantasize about uh, like having a relationship as healthy and as fun and as cool as Jake and Eric. But you not it. it. You can not ship it. it. But it's all <laughs> fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. Yeah. Well, it's but, fake. but Jake Paul said it in interviews. He said he compares vlogs to do to wrestling in the way that it's kind of real, but mostly not. Wow. And a few kids knew it was fake and didn't care. They didn't seem to care that it was all. That, fake. They don't care. Percent fake. Everybody knows that. If he didn't put up all that drama like the real story about why Jerica's not real anymore all that stuff he wouldn't have able to bind his Lambo and some kids were pretty bummed out do you ship Jerica yeah you feel like Jerica's real yeah would it matter to you if it was like complete like say he had another girlfriend that they never even show on the vlogs and Erica's just his girlfriend for the vlogs. Would that matter to you? Yeah. That would matter. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because that's mean. That's even, that's too fake. Yeah. Yes, I love Jerica. Jerica for life. I believe it's real. I believe it's real. It doesn't seem fake to me. He has said in the New York Times that it is fake. I know, I know. But you want to believe it in your heart that it's true? Yeah. I believe in true love as well, so I appreciate that. Yeah, Ryan's over here crushing kids' dreams. I'm like, dude. That, that's fine. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan's like, well, uh, did you know in a New York Times article, he said... Uh, like Just trying to have a little fun going to see Jerrica and Ryan's fucking crushing <laughs> dreams out there. I, like, that's probably... You're ruining, Santa, you're ruining Santa Claus for the kids. I always wonder, is like Jerrica real or if it's not? Because I truly want it to be real. I don't know. So you ship it pretty hard? Yeah, I ship it. So it would be pretty. It would be pretty devastating to you to find out that it was fake and just for the cameras. Yeah, 
I think they just both like together are like perfect. Like they're I don't know. Okay, we have a channel. <laughs> oh nice. You guys wanna plug your channel? Sure. It's Unicorn, Unicorn Space Squad. Squad. Yeah. Unicorn Space Bots? No, no Unicorn, Unicorn Space Squad. 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 I'm about to eat some pizza, so um, oh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Hey, all the rainbows. I've been flying with unicorns to get to you. To get to you. I want to get 300 subscribers soon. We've been talking to like lots of like tiny kids. You guys are some of the oldest kids I've seen here. You're Jake Poller? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so what are you here for? I'm just here for our video content, to be for honest. Clout. For yeah. what? The for clout. the video content. <laughs> What is up, guys? You guys already know who it is. Self made David. We're, you know, if you put Jake Paul in any title, you'll get views. I lose so like, much clout when my followers Before see I'm at a Jake Paul too. fucking meet and greet. But you're you're here for the views. But I fuck with him, Loki. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a subscriber, you know what I'm saying? But, like, don't call me no Jake Pauler because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with him, I'm subscribed. I ain't gonna lie. That's not every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just here for the clickbait, for the shot. pop-up was supposed to open at 1, but now it was nearly 3.30 and kids were starting to worry. And then... Hey guys, can everyone hear me? Due to reasons out of our control, we are not able to move forward with the pop-up today. There was a zoning issue with the building, and they informed us that no one would be getting in today. They would have to reschedule. No Jake Paul. He's not gonna have He's not here, so... Kids were pretty bummed, and a few tears were shed. Strangely, the management team of the Film It All vloggers really didn't want me to film this. She sees me, steps down, and then hides behind a large man. Then he steps in front of me, and then another one steps in front of her. It was pretty obvious that they were blocking me, but to be sure, he says, We haven't figured it out. But why? I don't know. It was the building. Okay. It was building permit that first was yes, no way, then turned into no. I had no reason to believe there was anything dubious going on, but Blake wasn't falling for it. This was a whole bust. Uh, I had a feeling this would happen, especially if there was like this a little people. I knew this would happen. I saw how small it is, and I knew in my head this would happen. Do you think that not enough people showed up, and so he was like, I'm not, I'm not going? Yeah. I'm not going to show up because it's not Let's do a Jake Paul sucks on three. Next time on Trashcast, is everyone willing to lie for money? I don't, I don't think I would tell them that I'm getting paid. It's none of their business. Can vloggers start the fart revolution? His girlfriend mm. farts all the time in his vlogs. That's great. I love that. And finally, we come face to face with Jake himself.